Fuck. But I will for sure buy this again because this is the Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my full face pretty pan. And I have done this for two months already and it has flown by. I'm very excited to bring you this update and I have actually thought about doing this a rolling pan but the sooner the better I can move on to another project. So I'll just show you my empties and where I'm at with the other items and then let's get started. Prior to this update, I have finished three products and that was my L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer, my Benefit Gimme Brow and my Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. They are all gone now, they are in the fresh, they are in the recycle bin out there. In. <laughs> so I'll just show you my empty for this month. So the empty for this update i have my foundation it is the one from maybelline it is the dream satin liquid and it is in zero tree true ivory this was a perfect match for my skin tone right now um here in the winter time i really really enjoyed it but it's not my favorite at all so i don't think i will buy this again um, I have seen it with some new packagings. I don't know if they have changed just the packaging or the product itself, but I don't think I will buy this again. Um, I have so many other favorites, but I did scrape out every single bit. As you can see, there is some here in the bottom, but I, I can't be bothered. I have so many foundations that I need to go through before I even consider buying this again. But so I have my concealer here from the uh, collection. It is the Lasting Perfection Concealer in One Fair. I love this concealer. I use it every single day. I'm so close to being done with this and I haven't pulled out the stopper yet, but I can see I can't see a lot of product in it. It's, there still is coming something out on the wand, but not that much. By next update, I will have the stopper taken out of this one. So it's very, very close to being done. Then I have my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. I have expanded the pan. Let's just say it like that. I have expanded the pan a lot, but I only I only set my face with this now because I have found out that this powder makes my concealer crease, and it this concealer doesn't do that with other powders. So I don't know what the deal is. I will for sure buy the concealer again, but I actually don't know about this powder. Maybe. Then we have my blush and bronzer from my C palette here. It is my Hula bronzer and my Dandelion and Rogatua Duo Blush. So for my Hula bronzer, I have a dip. There's just the small hint of the name left. So I have really worked on this hard this month. But this blush have been cracking and stuff like that from the work tour side. The dandelion side don't really want to go down. <laughs> oh, now I know. That's hard pan on the dandelion. That's why. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess I need to fix that by next update. If I can get rid of the hard pan I have here on dandelion, I will for sure have some progress. I didn't notice before now. I have hard pan. That's why it doesn't go down. Okay, I have a big dent in the work tour side. I have been loving it. I have it on my cheeks right now, mixed together with the bronzer and highlighter. But I really, really enjoy it. And I think 
when I get rid of the hard pan, that will go pretty fast, actually. Now I understand. Wow, okay. <laughs> I don't have a new mark for my Benefit High Beam just because I don't really know. I think it is at the same line actually. Um, I don't need much of this. I think it, I marked it uh, wrong last time, but I can't see some separation lines. It's not separated, but you know I can see some lines down here, but it's not. It's definitely not <laughs> down to there. Um, it is up to this line right here. I'm using that every single time. I have it under a highlighter right now for my chocolate bar. Love it. <laughs> I really, really love it. So, Emily from Emily Conce Loves C Emily Conceal and Coffee. Is that her name? <laughs> she told me just to pull this out of the project, but I don't really want to. <laughs> it is my MAC Witch. Uh, eyeshadow. <laughs> I use this in my crease. I use it on my lower lash line mixed in with my chocolate bra and I actually like it a lot with this look I have on today. Um, it is the look I'm panning at the moment so I really really like it for that in the crease and on my lower lash line. I do wear the other colors I normally wear but I really really like this. And I have used it uh, a lot when I started panning this look. So. I have hope for this and there's the smallest dip. I don't know if you can see it on the close-up but it is definitely there and I can definitely feel it in the pan and you can you can feel the dent. Then we have my P2 Intensive Cool Eyeliner in Impressive Bolivia. I love this eyeliner, I really, really do. That is sometimes I'm just too lazy to do it because it's a pencil and it doesn't go down very fast. But I will insert the measurement right here. Then we have my W7 Lip Twister. I'm so angry. <laughs> This is all I have left. Can you even see it? There's the smallest bit on this. It is so annoying. I thought I was going to finish it today. Apparently not. But yeah, you can see on the close-up um, measurement. There's just the tiniest bit left. I will do a close-up of the pencil as well. Because it's just, it's just stupid. <laughs> just stupid low so yeah I will have this done by tomorrow or the day after so I do pre-film this update because I just don't have the energy and time in the weekdays so before this even goes up it's done <laughs> That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it's okay with you guys. It's not rolling and I don't pull products in. In the product with the other ladies in the finished by Women's Day, I do add in more products this month. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll follow along. So please subscribe, comment and like this video and then I will um, see you in my next video and take care until then. Bye guys! <laughs>